fascinating game. There is an added sense of drama provided by the elements, actually. The rain has once more decided to appear at this most inopportune of moments, and it is heavy rain. It does not dampen the atmosphere. The turnout here is good. The noise is very good. It remains colourful, but it could be a problem for the players because the pitch might very quickly turn heavy. We'll see as it all plays out over the next couple of hours here. This place is living up to its reputation as one of the noisiest corners of the footballing world. No decibel spared in this collective chorus. Now have opted for a 4 4 2 formation. Well, the modern version of that is a lot more fluid and flexible than in bygone times. There is a much greater understanding of the need for players to cover forward running and it enables risk taking while the gaps are filled. I, I'm very much a fan of it. There are a lot of people who seem to have kind of ignored it and just put it to bed, but it still works, it's still valid and I think we're going to see it be successful here. Things have got underway here pretty promptly. Delicate ball, and it needs to be. Oh, he's going to be disappointed with that. Silver spread out to the left. Well, both teams are proceeding with caution, but there's plenty of time to wait for some attacking purpose. And it's wasted clear. Internacional looking to pass their way through. Some terrific running on the ball there. Those efforts are not going unappreciated. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. comes another cross. Bore! Out to the right. He'd been towards the centre. Shapes the shoot! Gets good distance on it. In towards the back stick. He can get that clear. There's the end of the first half. Well, there it is, half-time, not a bad watch by any means, and the efforts of both sides have been good, but neither have been able to penetrate, and so we reach the break, and the game remains goals. So we reach the halfway point. What an end to the half, Peter. Uh, a lot of the best action of the half coming at, at the very end, and I get the feeling the second half may well start in, in similar fashion, as we'd love to see this momentum maintained, so I'm looking forward to what's to come. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started, nil-nil.
whistle goes and we start the second half Internacional can feel really happy with themselves the scoreline doesn't back it up but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half they've got to persevere Field changing the point of attack. Picked out brilliant. Can he finish? It's run loose. Who's going to get there? Arankis. Up towards the front line. It's run loose here. Great defending, strong and determined. And it's Arangus. Can he put it away? Oh, so close to what would have been a memorable goal. Well, at least the crowd are appreciative of his efforts. to the cause, but it's a goal credit that would be most welcome now. Plays it forward. It's an inviting looking ball that. Lucado. Well Jim, this really does look like a safety of numbers approach to defending we're seeing here. Well sometimes you just have to prepare for what's coming your way and they know that they're going to be involved in certainly the next spell of physicality in, in dealing with an aerial approach. Yeah, it's toe-to-toe, -to -toe, bicep to bicep, all about feet and inches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 